you know, other things, if you're, if you're a first time home buyer in Quebec and you want to live in one of the units, let's say you're buying a duplex and you want to live in one of the units, they're already rented. You literally just give six months notice, uh, written formal notice, and you're allowed to go and live in it. So I'm not sure if it's the equivalent, the same thing in Ontario, but there's things that you can do that are, that are, that are not, um, completely favorable to the tenant. Um, and yeah, I mean, I haven't really had any issues. That is something that comes up a lot though. Um, people outside of Quebec asking me that, but I haven't really had any issues is what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's similar here, especially when I talk to folks from like Alberta. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, the, the, the tenants that rule that, uh, that environment, it's not entirely the case. Yes, but we, in what sense though? Like, give me an example about uh, how brutal it would be. Oh man. Uh, in the example that you gave where you can give notice to the tenant uh, that you're moving in, uh, mm-hmm. the tenant can actually fight it. <laughs> they can appeal it and say yeah, that you're not doing it in good faith. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they can stall the process and you could be doing completely good faith, but again, they could just, they can just put that, put that block up and then you have to go, you have to go to the tribunal for it. So in that vein, then I would say, yeah, it's the same in Quebec. That is, that is the case. Like literally anything you do, let's say you send them a rent increase or whatnot. If they, if they don't, if they don't uh, respond, it automatically is deemed like, uh, that they refuse it or whatnot. So in that vein, <laughs> yes, okay, there there could be some things that are favorable to the tenant. But the way I yeah. see it is it's just like, again, back to what I was saying earlier, you kind of need to weigh your pros and cons when you're approaching the property. Mm-hmm. And then literally you should be taking that into account in your calculations anyways on the return of the property. Like that's mm-hmm. what I've always done. Like what's the oh, worst yeah. case scenario? Um, and investing in property is significantly more active than like investing in stocks. You know, it takes a certain type of person to invest in, in property. You're going to be dealing with tenants. You're going to be dealing inevitably at some point with bad tenants that trash the place before leaving. I've had peers that have had properties trashed, but I think over the long run, the net positive greatly outweighs uh, greatly outweighs the negative over mm-hmm. the long run. Mm-hmm. You just need to focus on what the end goal is with real estate. Uh, and everyone's context is different. So I'll share some of the numbers exactly. of the power property I just bought in, in Hamilton. So the duplex I bought is, get ready, uh, okay. I paid close to eight fifty dollars for it. Okay. Right? And yeah. it's going to rent for about 3600 per right. Per unit? No, no, no. Total. total. Okay, okay. Total. Around there. No, maybe a little bit more. 30, 3800 somewhere around there. I still have to rent out the main floor, right? So I don't know what it's going to be. But those are my projected numbers when it is rented, right? Can you share what the numbers on your duplex is? <laughs> yeah. So what are we looking at in terms of a revenue multiple there? You said 3600 per month. A month, yeah. Yeah. So it's what? Plus like hydro. 40, 40... That's, the, that's the kicker. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're paying for hydro? No, no. They're going to pay for hydro. <laughs> okay. I was going to say that. I still that's have to pay for the heat and water. Nail in the coffin <laughs> there. I Yeah. I never I never pay for that. Or at least I try not to. If, if that's currently on a lease i try to get rid of that as soon mm-hmm. as possible mm-hmm. um especially in ontario like hydro is crazy expensive compared to quebec crazy everywhere <laughs> well in quebec it's not it's really not uh, it's so cheap but uh yeah numbers on on our property so a duplex i've never purchased a duplex for more than three hundred thousand. okay and it de- obviously depends on the conditions of the place and and the area in the city but I would say average, average rents for say a two bedroom is eleven hundred to to twelve hundred right now. So let's say I've purchased last year, purchased a duplex for two hundred eighty thousand, and it it can be rented for for twenty four hundred a month total easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So those are nice numbers. Yeah. I mean, I always try to purchase things that are at revenue multiples of below 12 annual mm-hmm. revenues, which mm-hmm. is inconceivable in other markets that I'm well aware of. Um, but yeah, and then I always try to at least cash flow 150 bucks a month per door. That's usually my my goal. Yeah. Uh, I think the Ottawa listeners will be into your market next weekend. No, oh, they are. Because <laughs> Ottawa, are. Ottawa people pay similar prices to what I to pay. Yep. Right? I, no, they already are. I've seen it in the past year when I do visits and stuff. It's all mm-hmm. it's all English speaking folk uh, over on on the Quebec side buying buying 
because to them it's a huge deal right it, it's literally a steal to them in their mind yeah. uh for for me i look at like a place that goes for 100k over asking i'm like what are these people thinking but yeah. coming from other other markets it makes sense so yeah. how far is the drive from ottawa oh five minutes yeah that's it <laughs> oh well depending on where you are it's 10 seconds but i from my house it's about 10 minutes yeah i'm surprised your markets aren't similar in price then uh it's it's catching up but it's just that fear of of quebec it's that fear of uh the tenant board and the the french speaking people oh. uh <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah yeah you should you'd be motivated to spread more fear then <laughs> oh yeah yeah guys if you're listening to this and you don't speak french get out of here you won't be able to have find success all the contracts are in french right <laughs> exactly you're, you're screwed you're screwed <laughs> yeah yeah